Hey, hey! Okay, I have another rant for you today. And uh, it was sparked by this phrase. I'm sure you've heard it. It is as follows. I'm not like other girls. And I have a really big problem with that statement. And I'm going to tell you why, but I'm going to start off with a little bit of background. Okay, so as you know, um, people in general, but specifically teenagers, because we are very impressionable and we're in our formative years. I can't really say that I'm not really a teen. I'm not a teenager anymore. But teenagers and young adults uh, in their formative years are targeted by the media and are constantly, constantly told who they should be, what they should think, and how they should act. And girls specifically are almost exclusively told that they're not good enough, that <clears throat> they're not skinny enough, that their boobs aren't big enough, that their hair's not long enough or shiny enough or smooth enough or straight enough, that their teeth aren't white enough, that their lips aren't big enough, that their face is too round or their nose is too big or whatever because for some reason destroying female self-esteem is profitable. I don't know when that happened. I don't know who decided that it would be a brilliant money-making scheme to tell girls that they're not good enough, but here we are. And I found that the backlash to that, I mean, in order to combat that, youth and young adult fiction has started vilifying girls who actually fit society's definition of beautiful. So they've started vilifying conventionally attractive girls. You'll often find that the heroine or the love interest in a youth or a young adult novel, TV show, etc, etc, um, they'll describe her as pretty but not like other girls. Or they'll say like, she didn't look like other girls. She didn't act like other girls. She reads, holy crap, what? She drinks tea, oh my goodness, she's so intellectual. And they'll try to make her different and they'll try to make her quirky. And I understand that because you're trying to, you're trying to open up the doors for girls who don't feel like they fit society's definition of beautiful. And that is an admirable thing. But I also feel like it's, it's gotten a little bit too far. Because if someone, now this has not happened to me, thankfully, well, I don't think it has, I don't remember, but no one's ever said to me, like, you're not like other girls, but if they did, I would honestly be so mad at them. And here's why. Because by saying that I'm not like other girls, you are alienating yourself from your own gender. Like, you're creating this dichotomy between, like, us and them, and you're also perpetuating the idea that it's beauty or brains, and it can't possibly be beauty and brains. I mean, who could imagine someone who is conventionally attractive and actually smart? That never happens. Are you kidding me? So, like, if you say, like, I'm not like other girls, then you're, you're trying, not that you're trying, but you are buying into the idea that our gender as a whole is vapid and shallow and and stupid and I know that you don't realize that if you are someone who says I'm not like other girls I know that you don't realize that that's what you're doing but it's true like if someone compliments you by saying that you're not like other girls they're literally saying that you are exceptional because you're rising above the limitations of your gender what does that say about what people think about girls as a whole? So I don't think it's ever a compliment if someone tells you that you're not like other girls. And I don't think that you should ever tell anyone that you're not like other girls. Because what does that even mean? Does that mean that other girls are not smart? Does that mean that most girls or that our gender as a whole is stupid? Like, <laughs> see, if someone looks at me and tells me that I'm smart, I'm like, wow, thank you. That's awesome. But like... Every single girl out there is equally as smart, is equally as capable of love, is equally as capable of deep thought and philosophical thinking and intellectual and dreaming and, and goal setting. And even if a girl likes chick flicks instead of Shakespeare, and even if a girl likes Starbucks instead of some random tea, that's okay. And even if she's conventionally attractive, that's okay. She can still be smart and she can still have dreams and she can still be deep and philosophical. And 
girls as a whole are not stupid and shallow. Girls as a whole are smart and independent thinkers. And they can be pretty and they can be smart. And so that's why the sentence, I'm not like other girls, is so incredibly problematic. Because it perpetuates the stereotype that females are lesser humans. So... If you are a girl, do not ever, ever tell anybody, I'm not like other girls. Or at least now you won't be doing it in ignorance of what you're actually doing and how harmful it is to our gender with that phrase. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Peace and love.